Hello friend, what I'm about to tell you is not a secret. The reason for this communication is to tell you that you don't remember things as they were. Your recollection is different than what is real. Something in our reality is not right. This video addresses some of these concerns and has come to several conclusions. In my last video, I spoke of an incessant ringing in my head, especially when researching the subject of the Mandela Effect or creating these videos. Many of you have been in this rodeo for some time, and you know way more on this subject than I do. I won't lie to you, I am consumed by this subject. Much akin to the quantum fracture, there are countless paths to take when researching this subject. The two things that stand out most to me are the biblical changes and the physical changes to the body. The reason that those two things stand out is one deals with our faith system and the other deals with our physical person. So there's a double-edged sword. It's tearing apart our physical and faith-based realities. This is basically an attack on humanity in totality. The thing that bothered me the most about the physical changes is the fact of interference when investigating the subject deeply. Aside from the constant ringing in my head, I also get localized headaches when I find something compelling and then attempt to transcribe it for thought. The other thing that I have noticed, especially in the past couple of days, is the movement of shadows around my house even to the point of them making a sound of weight moving or shifting on the floor. And this is not just movement in my peripheral vision. This is movement that I saw straight on. Nevertheless, I addressed it and told it to get the hell out of my home. Nothing became of that moment. But it did set me on edge. I noticed the deeper that I delved into the understanding our relationship to this shift and why it happened it seemed like something is always trying to get in the way however i've come across information that has allowed me to ward off the shifting at least for now and as far as i know it's the pineal gland the pine cone shaped gland in the center of our brain the pineal gland produces melatonin a serotonin derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and seasonal cycles. But there are some who say that the pineal gland is the connecting link to the spiritual world, the proverbial third eye. But what most people think as a spiritual link may be linked to other dimensions or a cloaking device against edits in this reality. If my research is correct, then that would mean that the interior of the pineal gland is filled with water, and when the gland is awakened through focused and disciplined meditation, the water flips in and out of time space. This is also part of the reason that we can shift realities or dimensions, because we are moving relative to our universe, and our parallel universes are now shifted and moving parallel to us. Since the water in the pineal gland can allegedly flip in time, space, and space time, the same might be said for dimensional travel. If that is the case, then it might provide a cover for future changes and a dimensional cloaking field of sorts. But in our society, due to poor diet and the introduction of fluoride into the system, this can cause a calcification of the pineal gland over time and can dull the ability to shift. There are many alleged methods used to decalcify the pineal gland. However, I am not aware of any conclusive blind study. I do know that in my own reality that meditating in complete darkness has helped me to calm some of the Mandela side effects. I know it may not work for everybody, but it is working for me. Remember, you are a great creation with many hidden gifts. The more you explore those gifts, the more answers you may find. I leave you with this. In the shifting experience, you are either ignorant, a willing participant, or an unwilling participant. I choose to resist. I leave you with this. In the shifting process, you are either ignorant, a willing participant, or an unwilling participant. I choose to resist. This concludes this unit. Until then, if you like this video, share it. If you like this content, subscribe. 
If you want alerts for when new videos are released, hit the alert bell and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave your own theories on today's video in the comments below. More communication on this subject and other important phenomenon will be forthcoming in future videos. End communication.